Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a word counter for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let me show you how it works. We can see that we have this text area over here and we can enter any text over here. You can copy and paste a text from somewhere and paste it over here. And then you can click on this button called count words and the number of words inside the text will be displayed over here. So let's type some text. I'll just type this is a test. And now here we can see we have four words in this text. So let's click on count words. And here we can see it says number of words is four. So in this way you can copy and paste any text over here and it will count the number of words. And if you don't have any word, it will display zero over here. And even if you have multiple spaces over here and if I just type something like this is a test. And we can see that there are a lot of spaces over here. And now if I click on count words, we can see that we still have number of words displayed as four. Alright, so let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called word counter and I just opened it with VS Code. Let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and we'll also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And we also need to have a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. All right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and here in the HF, I'll just type style.css. And we'll also link our JavaScript file over here. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Alright, let's start by creating a container division to hold everything. So let's create a division with a class of word counter container. And in that we will have an h2 for the heading. So I'll just type word counter. And then we need to have a text area. So I'll just type text area. And for the text area, we will have a class called words. And then after that, we will have a button. So I'll just create a button and I'll just give it a class of count button. And here let's type count words. And then lastly, we need to have a text to display the number of words. So after this button, I'll just create a division with a class of word count. And uh, here I'll just type number of words. And I'll just create a span to hold this uh, number. So let's create a span over here. And uh, here I'll just type zero. Right now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So I can just search for live server and install it. Once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see that our uh, design is displayed over here in the browser. Right now let's style this. So let's go to style or CSS file. And let's start with the word counter container division. So here let's type dot word counter container. And uh, I'll just set a padding of 16 pixels. And I will set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. And uh, let's set the text align to center. Right now let's style this H2. So I'll just type word counter container H2. And I'll just set the font size to 42 pixels. Right now the next thing we will style is this text area. So I'll just type word counter container text area. Or you can just add the class name over here. So if I go back to our HTML, we can see for the text area, we have a class of words. So you can just add that over here as well. Now I will set the display of this text area to block so that it will have its own line. So here I'll just type display of block. And now we can see that the text area has its own line and then we have the button and then we have the number of words. And I'll just set the width of the text area to 100%. And I'll just set the height of the text area to 200 pixels. And uh, let's also set a border of two pixels solid and I'll just set the color to 1421 3D. And we'll also have a border radius. So I'll just have border radius of eight pixels. And we'll also have some padding. So I'll just have padding. And we'll set the padding to 24 pixels. And now here we can see that the text area has more width than expected. That's because of the padding that we added over here. So for that, we have to type a line of code, which is box sizing and set it to border box. Now we can see we have the correct width. So whenever you have a padding to any of the element, it will add the padding to the width. So if you don't want that to happen, then you can add this line of code box sizing border box. 
Right now, let's set the font family to Roboto. And uh, we'll also set the font size. So just the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll also disable the resize option over here. So here we can see, we can click and drag over here. So we can resize the text area. So we'll just disable that. So we'll just have resize and I'll just set to none. And now we don't have the option of resizing. Now I'll set the max width of this text area to 800 pixels. We'll also add some line height. So I'll just set the line height to two. And I think that looks all right. Now if we increase the width of this text area, we can see that we have the text area aligned to the left. So we will align it to the center. So here I'll just type margin. And I'll just set the margin to zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And now we can see that the text area is in the center. All right now the next thing we will do is style this button. So for the button we have a class of count button. So let's type word counter container count btn. And uh, let's set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 48 pixels left and right. And we'll also set a margin of 32 pixels. And uh, let's set the font size of the button to 16 pixels. And uh, we'll also set the font weight to bold. And uh, let's set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this button, we have this pointer. And uh, then we'll also set the background color to 14213D. And we'll set the color of the text to white. And I will also remove the border. So I'll just have border and I'll just set it to none. And we'll also add a border radius of eight pixels. Right now we'll also add a hover effect. So let's type word counter container count ptn colon hover. And we will change the background color when we hover over this button. So I'll just have background and I'll set the color to 001219. And let's also add a smooth transition. So here I'll just tap transition and I'll just set it to all 500 milliseconds ease. Right now when we hover over this button, we have this transition. Right now let's style this text number of words. So for that we have a division with the class of word count. And for the number we have a span. So here I'll just type word counter container word count. And I'll just set the font size to 32 pixels. And let's style the span. So I'll just have word counter container, word count, span. And for the span, I'll just set the font size to 56 pixels. And I'll also set the font weight to bold. And we'll also center align this uh, word count and also the span. So for that, let's set the display of this word count to flex. And uh, let's align items to the center. And uh, I'll also set justify content to the center. And we'll also add some gap between these two elements. So I'll just type gap. And I'll just set the gap to 16 pixels. And I think that looks all right. All right, that's it with the CSS of our word counter. Now let's start with the JavaScript. Now in the index.html file, we have already linked our JavaScript file over here. So let's go ahead and start with the JavaScript. Now in the JavaScript, we need to reference some of the elements from this HTML file. So we need to reference the text area because we need to get the text inside this text area. And we also need to reference this button because when we click on this button, we want to count the number of words. And the last thing we need to reference is this span because we need to change this value to the number of words. So we have these classes over here for the text area. We have a class of words and for the button, we have a class of count btn. And for this, we have a division with the class of word count and in that we have the span. So let's go to our main.js file and uh, let's type const words input or words text area and I'll just set it to document dot query selector and here let's type word counter container words and then we will reference the button so I'll just type const count btn equals document dot query selector word counter container count btn and I will also reference the span. So I'll just type const word count equals document dot query selector word counter container word count span. All right now let's create a function to count the words. So I'll just create a function called count words. 
Now the first thing we will do is we'll create a variable and I'll just name it words and I'll just get the value of this words text area. So I'll just have words text area dot value. Now the next thing we will do is we will split the text into words by space. So if we have a text called hello and then we have a space and then we have another word called world then uh, this will be considered as two words because we have a space in between. So here I'll just type let and I'll just create a variable called split words equals. Now to split the words I'll just type words dot split and here I'll just type space. So whenever we have a space it will add that into this array split words and every time we have a space it will be added into this array as a new item. Right now let's create a variable called number of words and I'll just set it equal to split words dot length. So the number of words is basically the number of items inside this split words array because we have split it using space. Right now let's display the number of words inside this word count. So here let's type word count dot inner html equals number of words. Right now let's call this function when we click on this count button. So I'll just type count btn dot add event listener and we'll listen for the click event. So I'll just type click over here and let's call this function called count words. Right now let's enter some text over here. So I'll just type this is a test. So we have four words over here and we should have the number of words displayed as four. So let's click on count words. Now we can see four is displayed over here. Now we have two problems in this word counter. The first one is that we are counting the number of words based on spaces. So if I just add a number of space over here and if I click on count words, we can see that the number of words is displayed as 15. So we need to solve this. I'll just show you the split words array in the console so that it'll be easier for you to follow. So I'll just have console dot log and split words. Or now let's open the console and now if I just type this is a test and if I click on count words we can see that we have four displayed over here and then we have this array over here and in that we have these four items which are the four words and now if we add some space over here and if I press count words we can see that it is creating all these empty items inside the array so we don't want that to happen so here before splitting the words I'll just add one line of code over here so what we need to do is whenever we have a space and then we have one more space after that then we have to replace all the spaces with just one space. So for that let's create a variable called words trimmed and I'll just type words dot replace and here to type forward slash backward slash s plus forward slash g. Now what this will do is it will select all the spaces after a single space. And I'll just replace all of this with one space and then here to type trim. And now here instead of words I have to type words trimmed. Right now let's go back to our word counter and let's see whether we have any progress. So let's type this is a test and we will add a lot of space over here. And let's click on count words and now we can see we have four words displayed over here even if we have a lot of space. So if we open the console, we can see that we just have four items in this array. Now the second problem that we have with this word counter is that if you don't have any words and if I press on count words, we can see that it displays one. So that's because by default we will have this blank array. So here we can see we have this array with this blank character. So for that let's add an if condition over here. So here after the number of words variable. Here I'll just type if the first item inside split words is blank. So here I'll just type split words and I'll just select the first item by typing zero and I'll just check whether it is equal to blank. And if it is blank then it means that we have zero number of words. So I'll just type number of words equals zero. Now this should do it for us. So let's go back over here and if I just type some text. Now we can see we have five words and even if we add a lot of space we still have five words and if we add spaces in between we will still have five words and if you don't have anything over here and if I press on count words 
we can see it displays number of words zero. So that's basically how you create a word counter using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check that out. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.